Hi there, I'm Remy from Ledger, and today I'm going to talk about dusting and address poisoning attacks. In a crypto world with threats of scams and attacks, vigilance is the best defense. Today, I'm going to teach you two common tactics that bad actors use, dusting attacks and address poisoning attacks. In this video, we'll explain what these attacks are, what makes them dangerous, and tell you how to deal with them to minimize their impact and keep your funds safe. First, let's talk about dusting attacks. These occur when scammers send small amounts of cryptocurrency to a large number of wallets. The amount is usually incredibly small, like a speck of dust in your wallet that you may not even notice. The main goal of this attack is to track these transactions to potentially reveal the identity of wallet owners. Once they have this information, they can target you with tailored phishing attacks in an effort to steal your crypto assets. So how does this work? Imagine you have a piggy bank with lots of coins inside. One day, someone sneaks in and drops a few special coins that have been marked and are easy to track. As you go around spending money from your piggy bank, the marked coins reveal your spending patterns to the scammer. They then use that information to plan out specific attacks based on your behaviors. A similar but distinct type of attack is called address poisoning. This happens when scammers send a small amount of crypto or NFT to your account, creating a poison transaction in your history. The scammer's sending address is crafted in a way to closely resemble other wallet addresses that you've interacted with. This is often done by creating wallet address that matches the first and last characters of an address you use, but with changes in the middle of it that are often missed in a quick glance. This trick is designed to look similar to a recent transaction you've performed with the goal of having you copy and paste the fake address the next time you try to send assets to your other account. In some ways, address poisoning is similar to international call scams. Imagine that you receive a call from a number that you think is your parent, and it quickly hangs up. You then try to call that number back, thinking you're about to connect with them. However, when you redial the number, you then get routed to an unknown international told number which incurs high charges on your phone bill. While both dusting attacks and address poisoning involve small, unsolicited transactions, they have different goals. Dusting attacks focus on privacy intrusion, aiming to de-anonymize you, leading to phishing attacks or even physical threats if you have large enough crypto holdings. Address poisoning, on the other hand, is designed to deceive you into sending funds to a scammer's account, rather than your own. Thankfully, dusting and address poisoning attacks are not dangerous by themselves. These tactics target users by using public blockchain data, which means you're not being personally singled out in these attacks. Dusting and address poisoning attacks do not indicate that your private keys have been compromised. The risks posed by these attacks can be minimized with simple online hygiene practices. First, get in the habit of always monitoring your accounts for unauthorized activity. Always ignore any unsolicited transactions sent to your wallet. In particular, with dusting attacks, do not interact with any links or messages included in memo tags for these transactions. You also have the ability to hide malicious NFT transactions in your Ledger Live to prevent accidentally interacting with them. To do this, open the Ledger Live app on your phone and go to the account that holds the NFT you wish to hide. Long press on the NFT's icon and a pop-up will appear to hide collection. Tap confirm and the NFT will be hidden from your Ledger Live portfolio. Second, use new receiving addresses for each transaction. Thankfully, address changing is a feature automatically used in Ledger Live for transactions on any network that supports using UTXOs like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Cardano, or others. However, you may want to create new accounts when performing transactions on networks like Ethereum or XRP, which do not support address changing. Third, never copy and paste addresses from your transaction history. Always verify the destination address on your device before sending funds. Use clear signing on devices like the Ledger Flex or Stacks and check every character in the address, not just the first or last few. Remember, there is no undo button on the blockchain and you should always double or triple check your destination address before sending funds. In this video, we covered dusting attacks and address poisoning attacks, plus three simple tips for staying vigilant. If you want to review a specific one, you can scroll through the chapters below. Thanks for watching this Ledger tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more. And if you have any questions or comments, add them below. Till next time, stay secure.